Hey everybody, welcome to the bonus video of this week where we are going to be feeding a lot of our bull snakes. So it's kind of like a Feed My Pet Friday, but I don't know what day of the week this is going to come out on, so feed my pet whatever day it is right now. But we're going to feed a lot of these bull snakes today because we are prepping them for the pairing season. We're going to pair them hopefully later today, but I want one more meal in them before we do so. So, let's feed... We have a lot of fun stuff planned today. This on top is a turkey neck, and we're gonna give this to Brad because I know she can handle it. She's eaten them before. It's just Thanksgiving leftovers, and it, they work really well for snakes. Everything else though is just a rat, and we're gonna feed those off to some various snakes behind me. So let's get started. going to show feeding all the snakes in these racks because we still have kind of crazy busy schedules and to do a third video a week we have to keep it kind of easy but we're going to start with this red bull snake male down here and then I think we'll feed the ghost morph bull snake down here and then we'll do the albino and then we'll do bread so let's start with this red male hey gorgeous here you go looks tasty oh there he goes Oh. I'm just like a bull snake, tuck way back in. I'm gonna take my food to go, please. We're gonna eat it in your cave. Perfect. Keep it clean. All right, then let's move on to the ghost. Oh, she's ready. <laughs> she's like, give me the food. Put it here. Hey, chunky. Here you go. Well, it's kind of a smaller rat, but too late now. Yep, there it's hers. Get it, get it, wrap it. Wrap that rat. And conveniently lay it in here. There you go. Perfect. Squeezed. Well, we weren't planning on filming her eating the entire rat, but she just started going for it without constricting it much. So we're like, if you want to be part of the video, you can be part of the video. So I'm going to close her up. And next, we're going to feed the albino het hypo here. Oh, she is hungry. I think she is ready. She is ready for her rat. She's looking at me like I'm yeah. bringing her the food. Hey, girl. You, oh, don't just hiss at oh. it. Here. You want a rat? Oh, yes, we do want a rat. Take it and tuck it. No, don't go in the cave. Ugh. Here, we're gonna go in this cave. There we go. Get that rat. Oh, she's really wrapping it. Yeah, she is. Okay, I'm gonna pause on that. <laughs> we're gonna see, we're hearing noises over here. And she stopped. All right, whatever. She's she was one. squeezing the blue ball. Yeah, she was. What's really cool about snakes and how they're adapted to eat large prey items is that their lower jaw isn't fused in the middle like it is with ours. Instead, their lower jaw is essentially split down the middle and each side is connected with just a small ligament. That way they can spread apart each side from one another, open really wide, and stretch it around their prey. And a lot of people think that snakes unhinge their jaws in order to eat, but that isn't necessarily true. They actually have an extra bone that we don't have that connects their jawbone to their skull. That's called the quadrate bone. We have nothing of the sort, but they have it, and that's what allows them to open their mouths really wide. The bad thing is there was a turd on this rat. Ew. It's in her mouth right now. Ew, she ate the turd. <laughs> she doesn't care. No, that's more food for me. <laughs> Yo. All right, she finished up. She looks happy. Yeah, I'll flip her cave over when she's not in food mode anymore. Yeah. And now we're going to do bread. All right, bread is next. We're going to feed her this turkey neck. It's going to be awesome. It should slide right down. Hi, bread. Oh, that's right. She's in post formation shed right now. Oh, uh, yeah. But I bet she will still eat. Uh, she's looking up at the sky like food will come if I look this way. Okay, bread. Will you eat a turkey neck? Here you go. Oh, are you not going to eat it? Wow, in shed, so. she is in shed. Oh, oh anticlimactic. Yeah, Brad does not want to eat. This yep. is the first time I've ever seen Brad in yeah. shed not want to eat. Yeah, usually she eats even in shed, but that's okay. We're going to feed it to Loki, our black-tailed Krebo, if he wants to eat. Hi, Loki. Oh, there you are. Hi, sweetie. Got quite the tail rattle going. There you go. Oh, really? All right, all right, come on. Let's bring it in here. This turkey neck wants to stick to everything. There he goes. All right. I cleaned it off. I, I just 
Rory realize that turkey neck sticks to bedding like Velcro. But look at how fast that's going down. Wow. I think he approves. I think so. So, so how's this going, Emily? <sighs> he wants to keep dragging it around all the bedding. I don't want him to stick the bedding ah, to the turkey. All right, a couple little pieces aren't going to hurt you. You're fine. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Oh, Kribos, they're such drama queens and they flail about, but they're a snake you don't want to get bit by because they are strong and His they... His tail's going to town over there too. Yeah, yeah it is. Sorry, go on, what were you saying? They're strong and what? Oh, you don't want to get bit by them because they, like, do more mechanical damage to their prey than squeezing damage because their jaws are just that powerful. So they can cause some serious bites. So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a great snake. I just don't want to get in his way when he's in food mode. <laughs> So there you go, there's some of our bull snakes and uh, a spontaneous black-tailed Kribo eating um, their meals for today. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you're enjoying these like extra videos of the week on the channel while we're all stuck at home because of coronavirus. It's been a lot of fun. But we're getting lots of stuff done here, so that's good too. Thank you Patreon backers for supporting this channel and thank you to everybody who's watching this channel. And we'll see you next time. Where are my ladies? <laughs>